Before you sell or give away your Mac computer to somebody else, you want to make sure you're not given access to your data in the process. And you want to make sure that all accounts have been properly signed out and the computer is ready for somebody else to use. Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm really happy to be back. I'm really excited to show you this video. I was on vacation. I guess you can guess where with the family, but I'm really happy to be back. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can wipe your Mac computer clean so that all accounts are signed out correctly and the computer is ready for another owner, or you can dispose it properly, of course, in the trash. Let's do it. Look at this 13 inch MacBook Pro computer. It's a great computer. It's fast. I love it. The only thing is that as I get older, it's very difficult for me to see the writing because it's smaller. So what I want to do is I want to clean it up so I can give it to my daughter and she can use it for school. She has great eyes and new eyes. <laughs> so she's going to be able to use it. No problem. So what I want to do is I want to clean it up. Before I give it out to my daughter, there's one thing I got to make sure that I do. I got to make sure that I back up all my data. Teenagers, you know, you can never trust them with data. <laughs> Just kidding, teenagers out there. Um, so we need to back up the information and Time Machine is the best option to do that. Time Machine is great, but I can also use the Migration Assistant. And that's if I want to take the data from this computer and move it to my new computer. It doesn't matter who the new owner is going to be. In this case, it's going to be my daughter, but if you're going to take this computer and give it to somebody else, sell it, it is always a good idea to sign out out of all the accounts and also get rid of all the data. Just make sure that everything is clean. The first one that we're going to go through is iCloud. Let's go ahead and go through that very quickly. You want to make sure that you follow the steps. To do this, you can use the iTunes application. Uh, depending on which Mac OS you have. Sometimes you can also do it from the music app, the TV app, or even the books app. I have iTunes because of the version of the Mac OS I have. So you can go to account, authorizations, deauthorize this computer. Next, we need to turn off iCloud and find my Mac. For that, all we need to do is go to system preferences. On the right hand side, click the Apple ID. On the left hand side, click on iCloud and find the one that says find my Mac and uncheck it. Enter your password. Click continue. Then after this, you can click on the overview button on the left hand side and click on the sign out button. And if you're using messages, don't forget to sign out of that. Go to Messages, Preferences, click the iMessage tab, and click Sign Up. Okay, and that's about it. All the accounts have been signed out. Now the next step is to clean up the drive so it can be ready for the next owner or the trash bin. In my case, a different owner. The next step is to turn off your computer, and while it's turning on, you press Command-R together and you let it go when you see the Apple sign on the screen. This will get you to the Mac OS utilities. Uh, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, we need to go to the disk utility. Uh, we need to erase the drive. Uh, so you can see you have your Macintosh drive here. You can click erase and it's gonna ask you for a name. Macintosh HD works perfectly. If you like that, you can change it if you want, but I'm gonna set it up as Macintosh HD format APFS, which is Apple file system, which is fine. You can do encrypted, case sensitive. Um, I usually go with the default, which is APFS. Click erase, and that's going to erase the drive. Click done. We click close, and now we can click on reinstall Mac OS. Click continue. And in this case, I have Mac Sierra, so we are gonna Go ahead and click continue. Okay, uh, the best thing to do in this case is make sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi. So click on the Wi-Fi. 
Right now we're connected to the Wi-Fi, so we will go ahead and click reinstall OS and continue. Agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to select the hard drive, which is the one that we just erased. As you can see, it's completely clean, which is a 500 gig drive and click install. As you can see, there are some prerequisites. Uh, make sure that your computer is connected to a power source and also make sure that it's connected to the Wi-Fi. This process will take about 14 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of the Mac. So go grab yourself a cup of coffee. After it goes through the setup process, you'll come to the welcome screen. At this point, you can turn off your computer, close it because it's ready for its new adventure. At this point, we are done. This laptop is clean, is formatted, and is ready for the new owner. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel, so any, any messages, any comments, uh, any subscriptions help. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.